Hi, I'm Kristen Burt for Red Carpet Report. And it's Hollywood's biggest night, and we are getting a preview of the Oscars Governor's Ball. This is where all the nominees, winners, and attendees at the Academy Awards will dine after the big show. All right, tell me about Hill Haven's Lodge specialty cocktails this year. Cool. So we've created uh, two drinks specifically for the Governor's Ball. What you see bubbling away here is the Lodge cocktail. And so everything is made to accentuate the flavors that we find in the Hill Haven Lodge uh, whiskey, which is a uh, blend of bourbon, rye whiskey, and Tennessee whiskey, all, uh, all American styles blended together. Uh, this is kind of a boozier sipper for your Manhattan drinker. Uh, it has a bit of sherry, it has a bit of sweet vermouth, some chocolate bitters. It gets a final flash infusion over some citrus, and then we'll make its way down into the bulb and get a little bit of uh, rosemary on top. Andy's actually shaking up some of the road less traveled. So this is a lighter, brighter, more refreshing cocktail that we've put together. Uh, it has uh, some tea that I've sourced from a company called Rare Tea Cellars, a great Chicago uh, company and tea blender. Uh, it's a bourbon vanilla chai tea with citrus. Hillhaven Lodge, of course, is the base of it. And then topped off with a little bit of dandelion and burdock root soda. It gets a really beautiful uh, flower bouquet over the top of it. And so this is something that you can start your night with, finish your night with, and kind of go, go all day. You want to give her a whirl? I, I sure will. All right. <laughs> wow, that's amazing. Yeah, light, bright, refreshing. Still, for, it's still going to please your whiskey drinker, but we can, we're going to even win some new whiskey drinkers tonight. I was going to say, I'm not much of a whiskey drinker, and this is really tasty. It's a gateway <laughs> cocktail. By the end of the night, you'll be drinking the Lodge as well. We'll just be pouring it on ice on the bottle. Which is well, and I love the presentation, too. <laughs> this is great. What is it, 10 a.m., and I'm sipping cocktails? It's fine. It's, it's, it's 10 after 10. You're good. Perfect. Um, this is not the first year you've done the Governor's Ball, is it? No, we've been with the whole team. Uh, this is our second year, so uh, we did something right last year, and uh, really amazing to be back at what is the really the biggest party of the year, and to make cocktails for that. Uh, we love to, to host and entertain. It's what we do, uh, and, and you know, cocktails are the way that we do it. So. Coming back for the second year, was there anything you thought we want to do, like, next level, even bigger? Yeah, you know, it is... I mean, it's a massive event. It's a celebration. And so uh, we do, um, you know, first and foremost, we think about flavors. We think about uh, highlighting the spirits that we're using. And and, and then we, uh, we do want it to be special, though. I mean, this is, you know... This is not the time uh, for the night for, for vodka tonics necessarily, you know. Uh, but, but it is, again, the, the flavor profiles. I've got 2,000 people going like, to come to my bar. I don't know who they are exactly. I don't know what they love to drink. And so we make a little something for everyone. Uh, we've got a very classic old-fashioned that we're doing. We have a Ciroc uh, French 75 that we're doing so with a little bit of uh, sparkling wine in it. So just, you know, really something for everybody. Straight across the board. Well, this is perfect for me, so. Perfect. Thank you so cheers. much. Cheers. No, thanks I for know, stopping by. that. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to this channel, like this video, and in the comments below, let us know what your big plans are for Oscar night.